Taurus tarot card messages March 15 to 21 20, 2024 let's take a look at what to expect for you Taurus so there's something about a father or fatherhood or someone finding out some truth I'm getting fatherhood energies too I hear and this may have to do with money I also feel like you're very attractive, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth sign, energies, Virgo, and you're making money. I feel like people, either people are attracted to you or they're jealous of you or you feel like tension and anxiety around you. I think that this is because a level up is about to come into your life. So try not to, you're, you're probably getting a lot of evil eyes and like low key evil eyes from hidden enemies so be mindful of that because some you may be getting keys to something or some type of a level up taurus all right um so about be mindful of the energies of people around you all right and love you okay i love you and something about a daddy something about a capricorn gratitude you're about to make some money i'm feeling like taurus and you're about to be healing um, you're about to be chosen or something is about to be revealed and a strong Capricorn energy here to growth um, in your finances. I feel like uh, there are some things that you're going to be changing in your life too. For in the 15 to 21st era, you're going to be having something that you want instead. Um, there could be rain as well to prepare for rain. Yeah, you're going to be getting some type of joy. So be mindful of the rainy season because you may have to like leap off of somewhere to to save yourself. All right, but you're going to recover, beautiful soul. If you went through some financial loss or something, I know you know how to get yourself back feeling together. All right, watch out for the waters, emotions, the people, places, animals, and things, stars that you'll be dealing with. Um, you may be going somewhere to pursue your journey in arts or craft, or you may be interested in cooking, opening a restaurant or some business like this. Your ancestors are with you. Some guidance energies that are saying like you're going to get acceptance if you like wanted to go to a school or something. Yeah, you are. You're like a lone wolf too, Taurus. Something about daddy. All right. And, um, you may be going on a journey or you may be doing something different than any than most people you may be going back to culinary school or something like this and you may feel like a loner sometimes beautiful soul but you are you're like you are you are of a tribe your ancestors are not necessarily your family you know what i'm saying or let's say you're of the wolf tribe but you really love the family that you were brought up in so there's like a calling for you to follow your instincts go on your journey and love the process like sometimes you may feel sad taurus i'm feeling like and maybe lone wolf energy and maybe tired too and exhausted maybe sometimes taurus you wish you had family and friends and loved ones around you and and maybe there's a program on TV or on the radio that you listen to that reminds you of home or connection. Okay, so you can also become a giver, Taurus. Sometimes you may need, need, need something. Not that times you're not needy, you know, but sometimes in yourself you may feel like you, you're lacking something or there's something that you need. You may need to open your heart space or connect with your heart or speak more through your heart. And you're naturally a loving person, Taurus, right? You're so full of heart and so full of love. Um, wealth is your focus now because there maybe in your past life you felt like you were unstable unstable and were living some type of condition so you may be trying to manifest stability and foundation out of fear of not having it you know because you know what it felt like you're like in this life i'm gonna have what's mine so that can become a driving force of yours for you to become even more established taurus you may start a business and become a boss okay yes you may like you may have employers employees and you're standing there like you're working on the forefront and you're you're signing sending some people directing some people where to go what to do because this is your team and this you're the team project manager or this is your show this is your project you know and i feel you feel content and i do feel like you feel rich in this too all right so you're making money so let's see, you see the service energy you are a good service provider you could be a good talker people can rely upon you you have good nature and good qualities within you taurus and you're getting admired for that and some people can see that you may be in the running for a promotion or something like that all right and so they, they feel a little bit intimidated by that but you can also um stay in position and be a leader even though you have people around you that may you say 
jealous of you or evil eye on you. You can still be go a good person, a good leader and be successful in it. And also on this journey, Taurus, you're also learning emotional stability, how to love yourself and healing in your heart space. So do not neglect that. Um, this is not a road or a journey that many men choose to go down, which is to choose to heal the emotional side of them as well as um, heal the financial side. So that may be the next step that you're going to be taking. And this may be something that you are taking personal responsibility for on your journey because you're maturing so much emotionally and because i feel like you want to have something to be able to give back emotionally too maybe you it's your thinking about or your own family who is to come after you your predecessors or your it's not pre i don't know which one antecessors the ones that come after taurus um i don't know pre so yeah yeah so okay <laughs> Yeah, the two of cups, I'm for sure knowing that love is coming in your life in the 15th to the 21st energy. Tara, so the two of cups is a love. You're on a soulmate journey as well. That is why I'm saying you're going to be paying keen attention, not just to your, your finances and your tangibility, your tan what your tangible income is, but you're paying attention to your emotional side as well. To become a more wholesome person is the energy I'm feeling like, Taurus. All right? Um, because you're, you're you're realizing that your mission is not just for that. There's something greater about you. Are right, you see you're manifesting water energy, so that's loving kindness. Um, maybe you, you will you will be a giver because in like I said, past lifetimes you did go through a lot. All right, this is the ten of swords. Maybe you feel disappointed in something, and like I said, watch out for the weather. And someone may have lied, and all kind of things happen to you. All right, um, but you're gonna get closure if you need one. Okay, the Knight of Swords. The truth is gonna come out. I feel the Ace of Swords. This is my Taurus card too, you know. Because you're incredible, you're Christ conscious, you're very self-aware, you're noble, um, you're, 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 you're not really full of fear, you're honest, you're loyal, that is your energy. Just You may be dealing with a, a, a watch, um, an air sign as well. Yeah, but I wonder if someone was lying on you because this is the seven of swords. Maybe you're quiet, sometimes you're quiet and you, you take things easy, so maybe people may think you are a pushover sometimes but you are not like it, <laughs> people should know that when it is if you should that's why you don't do certain things in a taurus because <laughs> but i you still feel offended sometimes or like hurt by what people would do what the, the things that they would say to you are behind your back maybe how they don't believe in you how they never told you the truth or how they left you out you know how they think that they can play word games with you and all of these things but sometimes you're like, <laughs> if I should respond, you're the ace of swords, you know. So maybe for, in some ways, this is all fun to you sometimes. You know, you take things lightly because you know how power, oh God, you know the rich power God has put in you. Like you can, you have that Christ consciousness, that bird's eye view. You're very insightful, clairvoyant, and very you're truly emotional. You're gifted spiritually as well, and as well with speaking. Um, so there is also a way for you to let out the offensive things that people say to you instead of keeping it and storing it. All right, it's like money. You can spend it. You can use it to go buy yourself something nice. The things that people say about you that are not true. I feel like for real, you can spend those energies instead of store them up. So strong love energy, but maybe there needs to be a love connection. But there is um, the swords energy. There could be a lack of it. But look, I'm getting farther, and I love you. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And someone said something for true. Maybe if you want to connect with me, we can talk more about that. But I do see real love showing up in the 15th to 21st energy, all right? True love, real love, maybe with your youths, maybe um, with your family, with your siblings, or you healing childhood energies as well. That's what I'm saying. Two of cups, six of cups. This is a soulmate love. Oh my God, this is true. Real love in your life, all right? You could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Four of Cups. I'm also seeing that you're very centered. Facade. All right. Oh, my. I know how you feel. And this is not a feeling that I can take away from you easily. It is a, it's like a lasting feeling. You know, this is reminding me of a book I read when I was in school. 
and it was called um it was not a book of school a friend from school lent me his personal book he was reading it was called the green willow and it's about um going back in time and having regrets and this japanese gardener who fell in love with the, with the woman of the house and you know they had this little thing going a baby came and then it's like he had to take himself away and so the baby and they end up like like years later the a girl and a boy ended up meeting in the same house not knowing anything just by accident and then figuring out that story from the past anyway it's like some past energies maybe about um youth um fatherhood with the facade card and you feeling like you will not have something replaced it's making me feel a bit sad like i could literally cry um <laughs> and i love you so much workaholic you may be a workaholic energy too destiny your destiny is to heal your emotional space you came here for something greater so the thing in your in your human experience is that you are like feeling like you need to heal the most it is something that will create a star in the sky you understand what i'm saying it is something that will be a trademark it is something that it was a mission for earth development it was a mission for for evolution of consciousness that is why you particularly have been selected for this mission so we may think this is something a longing something that you will never have and why did this happen but i'm telling you and god knows it i feel like taurus renewal you're gonna bring something new a new life new perspective and you will make that star etch in the sky you will get that gold star in your book. You will have figured something out. You will have done something successfully for history, for time. And most I is with you. I'm telling you, this is your human experience. <laughs> what you have to do is what you have to do. And it is somehow to recover, to cre recreate history, to retell a story or something like that. All right. But there is real love around you. Learn to find balance in your heart. Right. There is this movie. Twin warriors there was this little um rubber thing that he would punch and it's center of gravity all right learn to find your center of gravity one of my subscribers said this your center of gravity is in your heart space learn to sit in your heart space um more in love three of swords yeah because you're to heal a three of swords energy maybe like <laughs> disappointment hurt sadness um you know broken heartedness dreary days feeling left feeling lost feeling neglected also third party energies um but this is your stormy days but this is what you are overcoming you, ha you you're gonna have to do it not just for yourself i feel like taurus mysticism you may need help okay you may need some help let's see you may start creating more Imagine not watching TV but creating more programs for TV. Imagine someone watching like Sesame Street and then getting an idea like I could create something like Sesame Street. You're going to do something of your own for yourself, Taurus, all right? You know, expansion. You're going to get wings to fly. The most high is asking you to trust the process, all right? Um, many of your ancestors have somehow given up too on this journey, but you will find yours because in this time, whatever you're pursuing, your passion is more ignited in it, right? Okay, and you're seeing signs and synchronicities of it around you and you're seeing support too, discovery. It's not always perfect. So let's see, lover's card. I'm knowing that there's a true love as you, Taurus. There's a real true love. There's something about father, your angel spirits guides are with you. There's true love. I, the four of cups, two of cups, the lover's card, the ace of swords. And this is a powerful force of love. And I feel like that is your love, the how you really feel. And I'm getting, you don't have to feel embarrassed or feel like hiding your true love energies if you are a loving, true person. But maybe it's a way for you to protect yourself also because you don't want to feel like um, people can take take you for an easy target but you're really loving but I, and I love you oh my gosh i can't believe how this is such a loving reading all right okay i don't know what else to say but i love you taras and i'll see you in the next one beautiful soul all right you're overcoming some this is the energy of overcoming also so you're gonna be overcoming um any type of blockages like 
sadness, depression, something missing, a longing, maybe not being focused, maybe spending too many time on your too much time on your phone, not believing in yourself. All of these things. You're gonna get your power back. You're gonna get that eagle wing so and you're gonna be soaring. So love you, take it easy out there. I am um, catch you in the next one.